Welcome back to Buzz on Business. And I'm here with Nanette Dargle of the Groovy Pooch Dog Grooming Experience. And you have just recently celebrated your one year anniversary in business? That's right, in May, May 2nd. Very nice, and where is your business located? It's in Valley City, um, 6689 <laughs> Center Road. Okay, what are you near? We're in the same building as KMS Beauty Lab. They're in the, they're the front of the building and we're down the sidewalk on okay. the side of the building. So mom can get her hair done and drop off A lot of our clients puppy. do that. Okay. <laughs> That's great. All right, and about how many clients would you say you guys service in a day, a typical day? In a day. So we take uh, probably about six to seven dogs each a day, and sometimes people have, you know, multiple dogs. Okay, so in the household, if they have multiple, mm -hmm. they bring them at the same time. Okay. Yeah, some of them do. Some, right. some like to split them up. Okay, and you don't do this alone. Who is your partner? Um, Madison Baker. I've known her. I've known her mom forever. Um, we worked together at a vet clinic together, and um, I've known Madison since she was two. Okay. And when she was 10, I said, you're going to be a dog groomer. And she goes, no, I'm not. <laughs> and then now she is. <laughs> okay. So did it come naturally for you to be a dog oh, groomer? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've just always loved animals? Uh, yeah. Okay. So growing up, <laughs> did you always have pets? Always. I was okay. raised by a poodle. That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> That's great. Okay. And you have a poodle now? I have three poodles, okay. three standard poodles. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Um, are there any tips or anything you feel like the average pet owner could sort of adopt from your experiences and learning that, you know, in between grooming visits, how can they prepare their pet for the visit or how can they maintain what was done in between? Well, the best thing um, or the, the, thing, the, mo the thing I say most to people is as soon as you get your dog, get them ready for grooming. Um, you know, introduce the brush and the comb. Don't make it like it's a bad thing. It would be like telling your child, oh, I'm gonna brush your hair now, and your kid starts screaming, and you say, get off, I'm gonna do it anyhow. You know, you have to treat them, you know, obviously kindly, yeah. and just get them used to the process, touching their paws, so when we clip their nails, they're not, um, they're not afraid. Build their confidence. A lot okay. of people today hold their animals and actually baby them a little too much. Okay. And it, it, it does nothing for their confidence. Okay. So someone, say if they were home and there's no other person at home to help them and they have their dog and it's a little fearful, they just maybe take the comb and lay it beside the dog and give them a treat right. or, mm -hmm. okay. I, and right. blow dryer, I, I don't, I, I caution people about using the blow dryer on their own dogs um, unless they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but I say, let them, if you're blow drying your hair and you're wherever you do it in your bathroom, let them sit in the, in the um, you know, wherever you are, let them hear that noise. It's okay. not a bad noise. Yeah. A lot of times people play the game like, oh, we're going to blow the dog, you know, like, shh, and then they take off. And right, they don't they like get it. to our place right. and they're trying to jump off the table. It's counterproductive. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, it was a little unique for you guys. You are a cage-free grooming experience, correct? Kind of cage free. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. as far as during we don't, the process, yeah, we, yeah. we have our. What we like to do is just have one dog come in at a time that we work on that dog start to finish, um, and there's not a, a there's not a lot of dogs in the in the right. clinic, not clinic the shop at mm -hmm. one time. There's usually one or two or maybe three dogs at a time, okay. so it's very um, quiet. Yes. The clients notice that right away when they come in, they say it's so peaceful in here. Yeah. And they're... they're it's groovy. Yeah, it is <laughs> groovy. <laughs> so that's, it's really good for the dogs. Okay. And we, we have other groomers send their dogs to us, the ones that they have, you know, issues with. Need special attention. Yeah. And, and high anxiety. Okay. And they come in and, okay. you know... We just do our thing. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's kind of our specialty. <laughs> Very good. All right. And then you guys are members of the Northern Medina Chamber. Yes. And how long have you been in the chamber? I think I joined, we joined last July. We opened in May, so Yeah, in July. so right away. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. And has it been a good experience? So far, okay. I, unfortunately, we, I, we haven't gotten to many events because mm -hmm. our schedule is pretty full. No, that's why this is nice because yeah. then other members can see what you would do right. and who you are and yeah. seek you out, recommend It's a nice yeah, group so. of people, definitely. Very good. Yeah, very welcoming. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were very surprised at our ribbon cutting because we thought there would be just like, <laughs> like our a couple of our friends and a couple of our family members, <laughs> who didn't show up and yes. all the other people. That's we, great. Yeah, we were a little overwhelmed. Good. We were like, wow. Well, and I do feel like having dogs is kind of it's yeah. an easy yes. So, <laughs> yeah. I was curious, what is a timeline a pet owner should have in mind for maintenance or bringing in their pets? So dogs should ideally be groomed every four to six weeks um, and that's you know some people say well I have a short haired dog and it's like yeah but they still need to be clean okay they need their nails cl clipped they need yes. their ears checked because um, we do all that in the process a lot another thing I like about being a dog groomer sometimes we catch medical issues mm -hmm. before the, the owners even yeah, know because you're basically doing a full body right. like exam. we are yeah. we are just looking at it, mm -hmm. looking all over you know at everything so um and then they're able to alert their veterinarian to that so sure you know if there is an issue it can be taken care of sooner than later yes and the advantage of someone coming to you on a regular basis is that you might even notice a change in behavior or something unusual with their right. pet so right very good i just had that the other day oh really yeah okay yeah, so Hopefully I, they I caught found a lump on the dog that I hadn't seen. Yes. I, I didn't feel yeah. previously, and I, we caught it right away, and it was mm -hmm. a good thing. Very good. Yeah. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you for having me. And that is the end of this segment of Buzz on Business.